This was the moment I realized I have no idea what the avocado actually looks like. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. This is technically my third video, but I did not upload the one that was supposed to upload a couple weeks ago. Sorry, but I don't know. I just wasn't super confident in it. So whenever I work up the courage to actually listen to it and edit it, I will upload it for y'all. Anyway, welcome back. This week I have this sassy avocado. I actually came up with this idea by looking at inspiration from these like avocado pants that a uh, artist painted or whatever. I'll link it or I don't know, post it or whatever. But anywho, I saw the avocado and then that song Material Girl, like Material Girl, got you on the and that song like popped up in my head and I was like, you know what? Let's put on together an avocado Material Girl. So I looked up the avocado emoji and the Material Girl emoji, put them together and combined it all with the I know guac is extra thing or whatever. And yeah, so that's how I came up with this. So this is an original design, which is great. This is my first original design that I've painted. And that's exciting. Um, I'll be honest, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Like, I don't love it. It's not bad. I just, I don't love it. You know you have an idea and it's just better in your head. This is my Material Girl Avocado. With much better in my head. But anyway, as I was doing this, I kind of realized I wasn't sure what color combinations I was actually supposed to use to get the avocado to actually look like an avocado. Um, I started off using the fern green, which is what the darkest outline is. And then I used the apple green to try to get like an ombre effect. But I was not feeling it. Honestly, I wasn't feeling any of the combinations I had going on. But I, I don't know. I, even though I looked at the reference photo like 50 times, I looked at three different kinds. I looked at like an avocado emoji that you see on your phone. I looked at a painting of an avocado and I looked at an actual avocado. Even though all three of them were like vastly different and there was no like exact way for the avocado to look, I still didn't love any of the directions that I was going in. And I was getting so... I don't want to say frustrated, but I was just kind of like over it, <laughs> honestly. I got over this painting a couple of times. Like I said, it looked better in my head, so once it was not what I wanted it to look like, I was just very disappointed and didn't want to do with it anymore. But I had to see it through. Here you'll see me putting in the celery green to kind of help with the ombre and try to get that lighter part. Cause if you look at an avocado, like all the images have one thing in common and that's, it was three different colors. It was a very thin layer, which is the dark fern green that I have. Then there was like a lighter or well, kind of like a brighter layer, which was a little thick. And then the big centerpiece was kind of yellowish if you can call it that like a like a not like a lemon lime yellowish greenish i don't know i hope y'all understand what i'm trying to say because i don't anywho they all have that in common the the super thin line then the kind of medium ish area and then the big center of yellow and in a sec you're gonna see me use yellow i use lemon yellow to kind of get that yellow color and I debated if I should just do a little and put it on the inside or just fill it all up and after a little bit of debating I decided to just go ahead and completely fill it in because I was getting so frustrated trying to color match and normally I do a pretty good job at color matching but with this one it just was not happening trying to get this avocado yellow but I think in my opinion the best combination was to use a lemon yellow and do a little bit of the celery green so do I guess like a 2 1 ratio of lemon yellow to celery green to get a pretty good avocado color you can sit at the top of this what do you call the top of an avocado is it the head the head of the avocado anyway the top part of the avocado you can see 
what I'm saying, well, what I'm referencing, the celery green and the lemon yellow, that has a good reference of what I'm trying to say there. I feel like that's the best kind of representation of it. But of course, little old me did not keep it that way. I actually change it. You'll see it skip and jump because I didn't record myself adding more celery green after this because I felt like it was too yellowy. Because even though on camera, looking at it right now, it doesn't look awful and it doesn't look too far off from what a celery, a celery. It doesn't look too far off from what an avocado should look like. But in person, it was very bright and it didn't look like avocado at all. Like it did, but it looked, I guess, I don't really eat avocados. I actually, I don't eat them at all. I don't eat avocados. I don't eat guacamole. I think I'm allergic to them because anytime I eat them, my tongue kind of itches a little bit. But anyway, the point is, I don't eat avocados, so I don't actually know what they're supposed to look like. And I'm not sure if it being more yellow means it's overripe or not ripe enough. But it's one of those. So right now, I feel like it's either overripe or underripe. And it's not looking too good. So... And don't record me doing it, but I do go over it completely with the celery green. And then I use a combination of celery green and lemon yellow to get a thicker outline. I'm, I'll just explain it when it pops up because me trying to explain it now is going to be pointless. So when it pops up, I'll explain it. Okay, so here. Okay, boom. Oh, I should have said. Okay, anyway. <laughs> So you can see the outline. I have the thick, dark, um, it's actually not thick, the thin fern green. Then that next la layer is apple green and celery green. And then the next layer is celery green and lemon yellow. And that's how I did it. I still feel like it's a little too bright and it's not too late for me to go back and fix it. I haven't heat set it yet. So it's not ready to um, ship, if you will. So if you feel like it's too bright, let me know in the comments down below. And I will go back in with some more celery green to kind of dull it out a bit. Because I will say about avocados, they are kind of dull. They're not very like bright or anything like that. So it's not too late to do it. Actually, I just bought an avocado today to give to my six month old since she's about to start eating solid foods. So when I open it up, I'll just compare it to that. And if I feel like it's too far off, I'll change it. Anyway, so into the core, into the pit of the avocado, which is our material girl emoji. I'm starting off with the espresso brown. I did an espresso brown outline and I used burnt sienna and a teeny bit of cream to get the right color. And I paused for a second to put in the her teeth. I used titanium white to do the teeth. I also used titanium white for the, I guess, is that like sleeves? I think it's like sleeves on what she's holding. I don't think it's a palm. Because the emoji, I copied the same colors as the material girl emoji. You can just Google material girl emoji or put in your search engine and it should pop up. Um, I did notice if you use like Bing, was it Bing that I, I don't know, because my computer has something different from my phone, but I think it was like Bing or something. If you type in material girl emoji, it doesn't like immediate pop up. You have to type it, like how the song, like I don't, whatever. Anyway, just try to type that in. It should pop up and you'll see it. Um, but yeah, so I use titanium and white for the teeth and the little sleeve areas. I end up changing the sleeves later on um, by mixing a, like a drop of burnt sienna with a whole bunch of cream to get kind of like that sherpa look because i like how sherpa looks i feel like it's it's like kind of fancy you know so i did that um but yeah anyway so i use the titanium white then because i knew if i tried to go back and do it it wasn't going to work out um because i've learned that mistake in my last video using white after and it doesn't work so i always do your lighter colors first because you can't paint over the darker colors oh and i kept putting my hand up because i didn't have my light on i recorded this um in the morning time i had started painting 
probably like in the afternoon I can't remember but when I finished it it was morning time in the sun which was absolutely beautiful gave me the most perfect lighting except with suns comes shadows and so I couldn't see the lining and even though looking back I didn't have to use the lines to um get the painting done I could have just kind of freehanded a little bit but I couldn't see it very well in the moment and so I had to cover it up to actually see it because it was too bright if that makes that doesn't even make sense how is it too bright to not see the lines I don't know but that's how it was probably because I don't know I'm not gonna try to make it make sense but I couldn't see it so I had to use my hands to cover it up so I did edit a lot out because most of it was me struggling to see the lines and trying to be a little perfectionist and trying to get all the teeny little details in this or I want to say the teeny little details but I was trying to get the sharp lines I'm trying to get it as sharp as possible so yeah to do that but anyway yeah just using the burnt sienna with some cream and the espresso brown too to get kind of shading I tried to make sure it wasn't too dark because I didn't want it to look muddy because that can happen when you're using um, darker colors especially if you're a beginner like I am it's very easy to make everything look just muddy instead of like shading and shadows and details and textures it just comes off as blah but now I'm doing these brows I'm using the burnt sienna to the brows not the burnt sienna I'm sorry I'm using the espresso brown to do the brows I'm not mix I didn't mix it with anything um, that's why it's the color that it is the darkness that it is brows on bleed I used a little bit of burnt sienna underneath the brows to make them pop and with the lashes I'm using titanium I'm gonna get it together I have a whole list of the paint colors right here and I just I'm just ignoring it anywho using the Mars black to get the lashes I tried to get them to be kind of full and nice and I tried to shape them as best as I could I actually don't wear makeup but I watch a lot of makeup tutorials so I use those that were deep in my memory and tried to get the brows and the lashes to pop lashes and brows popping anyway for the lips I started off with a rose pink um it was like a little bit of watermelon pink and a lot of rose pink and it felt too soft on camera it looks pretty good it doesn't look bad but in real life in person it it didn't pop enough it wasn't it didn't give material girl you know so I added more of the watermelon pink and eventually I just used all watermelon pink with like a drop of the rose pink just to soften it a teeny bit. You'll see when I do the nails, I use straight watermelon pink. So you'll be able to probably maybe see the difference. Um, but the watermelon pink is just basically a deeper pink than the rose pink is. The pink rose pink is just very soft and yeah. So I ended up just using the watermelon pink to do the lips. And I feel like it looks so good. Look at her. She like, mmm. Ow. You can't tell me nothing. I'm so here for it. Even though, like I said, I don't love this painting. I love the idea and the energy that comes with it, you know. Like, I know guac is extra. Like, imagine walking into Chipotle and ordering your food and you ask for the guac. And they're like the guac and you just cut them off like, I know I know it is mm -hmm. that's why I asked for it because it's extra I don't even eat guacamole I just got it because it costs more you know that I feel like this is what it gives that would be me ordering guacamole just to feel fancy don't even eat it <laughs> so yeah with the fingers um I've never painted anything this like small before like detailed before and fingers are one of those things where it takes a little bit of skill to get symmetry and to get things to be even and consistent I still need a lot more practice and that's fine I did enjoy being able to have the time 
will have the chance to practice on something like this because normally I don't paint anything realism or humans or anything like that like I have some paintings that maybe I'll post one day um of people but they have like no faces or anything like that so I pretty much cut out all the finger stuff because I'm not gonna lie I was struggling but I used um espresso brown to do the outlines and the burnt sienna to fill it in with the nails I used the watermelon pink and I can't tell if I already covered up the titanium white on the sleeves or not, but like I said earlier, I just mixed burnt sienna with a lot of cream to get a nice Sherpa look. I enjoy painting these letters. I feel like I did a lot better than the first time I did lettering. Um, it was on the video I was supposed to post with Harley Quinn. You know what? I'm going to stop being shaky and I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to upload it because I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Y'all don't like it? That's going to be a y'all problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Yes, watch I still not upload it. Anywho, I enjoyed um, painting these letters. It was fun. I do think I've done a lot better since the last time I did letters. I think it helped that these this font was so thick and the font that I used on Extra, actually, let me tell y'all about myself. I actually put this whole thing together using, um, what is it called, Pick Monkey? I think that's what it's called, Pig Monkey or something like that. Um, I used that to get it all together. And so I chose the fonts and everything. And I really like these fonts, um, especially for what's on Extra. I don't remember what it was called, but I love it. It's really cute. And y'all gonna see it. And I had fun painting that. So I, I definitely am gonna try to find something in the future that I can paint with that same font because it was lit. It was very lit. Um, but yeah, I will say that the, the A and the C, I don't know if y'all can tell, probably not, but the A and the C really messed me up. It was because I was trying to talk. I was like, oh, I'm not going to do a, vo a voiceover this time. I'm just going to talk and while I'm painting and y'all can, you know, listen to me live chatting. And it was a fail. I, come, I kept messing up. I was distracted whatever but speaking of live chatting i do plan on going live soon so please be on the lookout for that i really hope y'all can join me i think i'm gonna do i'm thinking about doing two sessions a week thursdays at midnight and sundays like evening or something i don't know just be on the lookout but this video is about to come to a wrap so i appreciate y'all so much for joining me this week i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope it unlocks your inner material girl and yeah like follow subscribe comment what you did and did not like and i will see y'all in the next video bye